think if we go headlong for no deal, the most likely outcome will be a general election and, and that would be political suicide, not just for me but for all of us in the Conservative Party. And I think we just need to look at what happened in the European elections and the local elections and see it as a warning as to what would happen if we went back to the electorate in a general election, not having delivered what we promised to do last time. My priority is, is to get a deal uh, that is uh, safe, safer for business, safer for the union, um, and allows us to move beyond Brexit. Um, and I think that the risk of going in too hard for no deal is that you'll get a very hard response. The Europeans will say, fine. Uh, and then I think, as I say, we would trigger a general election one way or another, and that would be extremely dangerous for the Conservative Party. The one choice I would not make is to have a general election. I think that would be political suicide for the Conservative Party, and it would mean that we had uh, the most left-wing leader in history in number 10 Downing Street by Christmas. I think in the end there is a deal to be done. I've you know, been a businessman all my life um, and I think there is a deal there, um, but it just depends how we approach it.